Hey there, everybody. How's it going? Uh, it is Andrew here from MAO Magic, and today I've got with me one of the models of the Power Cube. Now, there are many different ones out there featuring different things like different amounts of outlets, longer, shorter, or non existing extension cords, as well as USB ports. So, today I have a standard one which simply has the outlets on the end and the five foot extension cord. Depending on which one you're lusting after, these can be found for under $30. Not only do these come in different models, but they do come in different colors. So today I have the red one here, sporting some Ohio State colors to kick off the 2015 season, I guess. Once you get it open inside, you are going to see the actual power cube itself, as well as on this model, the five foot extension cord, which has bound, been wound ever so tightly. You will receive two adhesives, adhesives as well as the under desk mount which is probably my favorite feature about the power cube in general. So this is the mount and we're going to look at this again in a few seconds and you receive two of these kind of precision cut, well quote unquote precision cut uh, adhesives that'll run right underneath of here. The power cube itself is fairly simple. It is exactly a cube with four outlets, uh, or sorry, five outlets rather, one on each side and then one on the top. The bottom side obviously has the cord extending out from underneath of it. Now, part of my problem with the actual power cube is that when you do mount this under a desk, you are losing one of those outlets because that is what the mount attaches to. So there's kind of a downside. You're paying for a five you know, outlet plug here, but you're only going to use four if you're going to really mount it, which I highly recommend. Once we unwind the cord, you will see we have this little collar here, which allows you to mount the cord under the desk or on the wall to make sure it gives it a little bit more support as well as keeps it out of the way. If you mounted this on the front of your desk and just had a cord laying down, it would be just unendingly annoying. So that is one nice little benefit. The cord being wound so tight, though, is a little bit of an obnoxious tendency because it is really hard to get it to kind of unwind. So half my cord is perpetually in a spring form. The underside of the cube also has a way to reset the fuse if you ever need to. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how this mounts. You're basically given this plate and two little adhesives. A little bit of annoying is they are like cut in a specific fashion to match the underside of the mount here. The only problem is if you ever need to replace this, you cannot really do so. Half the side has little pieces on it so you can pull out, which if we look this way, you can see the little arrow so you know where to pull. Uh, but basically they're cut on the different ends and have the non-sticky side right there so that it doesn't stick down and you're able to remove this just basically like any of those command hooks. So the problem is a little bit is if you ever needed to move this, you can't without either buying new mounts or buying special ones and cutting them or either way, I wish they had thrown in a backup pair. That's all. So if we actually try to plug anything in here, this was a little bit annoyance as well, especially the end one, like particularly this end one here, it is extremely hard to get things in and out there. It's not too bad if you're plugging in like a two prong, such as like an iPhone charger, any smartphone charger, anything like that. But if you try to plug in a grounded cable, it's nearly impossible. It was extremely difficult for me to get this in and out, which especially if this was mounted underneath of a desk and it was just being held there with those command strips, I'd be extremely worried I'm just going to rip it off the bottom of my desk when I'm trying to take a cord out. So I guess you would have to like remove it first from the mount, then put the cord in or out and then put it back up. Uh, basically for this one particular outlet, I'm purely gonna stick with two pronged electrical chargers. Other than that, simply take those command strips, put them on the underside of the desk, put your uh, box on it, and there you go, an under desk mounted electrical outlet. If we break down the pros and cons, it's not too expensive for under 30 bucks. Different colors to match everybody's taste, and it has a really good design. It's won the Red Dot Award, and I think it looks really smart. It's a very great little added convenience to the underside of your desk. On the other end of the spectrum with the cons, it can be really tough to plug certain things in. It doesn't contain screws for adding that mounting bracket or the actual cord bracket. It has screw holes, but no actual screws, which could have been thrown in. The cord is wrapped too tightly and never seems to lose that spring look. And you lose an outlet when you have it mounted. It might be able to put in a different way with a cord on a corner. Questions on anything I didn't cover? Throw them up in the comments. Make sure to subscribe so I can keep these videos coming. Other than that, I'll see everyone next time.